Good morning, everyone. We're going to start this review with the Unit 1 Progress Check for your response question, Part A, which asks you to provide a histogram for a given set of data about adult visitors at a vacation resort. So the first thing I want to notice when we create a histogram is when we look at the vertical axis here, the first thing I notice is that the vertical axis is scaled evenly beginning at zero, going up to 160, which is the maximum number given in the problem, and I decided to count by 20s. You could count by 10s, you could count by 40s. The only thing you needed to make sure is that every one of these spaces is even going up the uh, vertical axis. Then I followed that up with the horizontal axis along the bottom where I put the age. The ages go from zero again is where we have to start and went all the way up to 80 and I'm counting by tens because that's how the problem provided the information. Once I have the axes drawn, num numbered, and labeled, I'm going to go ahead and create the histogram bars. Now notice all the widths are roughly the same. That's something you should try to aim to do. Um, and then I drew them to be the heights given in the problem. Now notice some of these, this would be our 130. I believe this one's our 115. It doesn't have to be perfect, just has to be close enough. So for example, this is 115. They probably would be fine if it was anywhere in this area just for 115. Um, once I was done drawing all the bars, I went ahead and created a label at the top and the label at the top tells exactly what the histogram is, took it right from the problem, adult visitors at the vacation resort. So if you're looking for a grading scale on this, they'd be looking for the labels along the side, even spacing along the horizontal and vertical, labels on the graph, and appropriate bars that are roughly the same width. If you were to provide all of those information, you'd probably be in line for the maximum amount of points.